Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to show you today how to set up Synergy Virtual KVM version 1.5.0. Currently there is a version 1.5.1, .1, but I'm going to touch on that in just a few seconds. So this is the Synergy homepage. It's just synergy-project.org. It is, it is an open source project, but as of 1.5.1, .1, you now have to pay $5 for it. It used to be free, now it's not not much I can do for you there but it's five dollars and it is a very very good piece of software so touching on that then that's it pay five bucks get your KVM so closing this down this is what you're gonna see now when you first set it up you're gonna get this window this is the synergy wizard so you're gonna click next uh, this will you won't really have this option now I think because you're gonna have to pay for the premium but I didn't get I didn't do it so I got mine for free next you're gonna set up a server now the server is the one that's gonna have the keyboard and the mouse attached to it so the computer I'm doing this on right now is my server so I'm gonna click server click next uh, you can enable encryption this will just prompt you for a password I didn't need to and that's it then so this will be the window you get now, as you saw, I just clicked cancel because I already have this set up, so I'm not going to bother redoing it over again. Now, you're going to want to click the server, the server box, and you're going to see these IPs here. You're going to use the internal static IP, or the internal IP, and just click configure interactively, and you're going to click configure server, and this will bring up this grid. And now with this grid, how you add your remote PC, the one you're going to act as the client, you're going to drag this window here. It's going to bring down this. You'll click it, assign it the name. Make sure you give it the name of the actual PC that you're trying to to KVM with. So as you can see here, a Reef PC is my main computer. A Reef Stream PC is going to be the virtual is going to be the one controlled by the KVM. There we go. Okay, and that's that's all you're going to have to do for this. Don't really touch any of the other settings because you just don't want to mess with it. Okay, so once you get all that configured, you're going to want to click start. You're going to get all this other stuff and it's going to say watchdog status, okay, Synergy is now running. That's all you need to do. Okay, now next you're going to want to go to your client PC. And then you're going to see this window here. And this is the client, not the server. So what you're going to do is you're just going to leave all of this the same do not do not check the server the server button you're going to want to click client use another computer's mouse and keyboard you're going to type in the internal IP of the server so as you saw on the last on the last one that this is my internal server or my internal IP so you're going to type that in and make sure the screen name matches the PC's full name so you're going to want to go to your my computer properties and you're going to want to click right here and see full computer name and that's it uh, for Macintosh uh, apparently you're going to need to add like a dot local at the end of your file at the end of your uh, PC's name I'm not sure about that I do not use Mac so uh, maybe somebody more savvy than myself can leave that in the comments below but you're going to want to make sure all the names match up so the stream PC name matches the screen name same with the little box grid that we showed you earlier the internal IP matches and then you're just gonna want to click start and you should get connected to server and that's it then so now you'll see on this screen a mouse should hover over and it'll say entering screen and then it'll say leaving screen and that's it that's how you set up a software based KVM I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions or comments below, you can email me at littlerex2015 at gmail.com or tweet me at littlerex2015. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.